My God, there is none like you. You alone are worthy. For you've created everything by your hands and Lord, through your heart and your passion and your desire for us to be with you forever. You call that the new heaven and the new earth. Your habitation where you want to be. What an honor. We thank you for that, Lord. As from the beginning, you had an awesome plan. And in the beginning of what we are doing with you, Lord, through prayer, we want to be there in communicating, surrendering everything into your hands. Let every beginning not be a place of crisis, a place of challenges, but a place where we, we can be with you, Lord. That as we start the day, as we start the new phase in our lives, Lord, let it begin with you. That's our desire, and thank you that we have that privilege to, to lay before your throne through prayer. Even with prayer as a closure, as we end, not end just a meeting, the meeting of today. But God, end of the meeting with you before we go into sleep. End of the meeting, acknowledging that in whatever we did, we did it with you. Help us that prayer will have that our prayer will have that emphasis. We trust you for that, Father. We will begin with you, we will end with you, Lord, in every situation, even as in Gethsemane, the whole process of giving yourself full out for the plan of the Father, for the joy set before you, Jesus Christ. You started with prayer, and you ended with prayer when you said, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. Lord, help us to follow your example. That prayer will not be a sacrifice. It will not be a something that we're supposed to do. But that it will become a habit. And that the habit will become a lifestyle, Lord. That it will be part of the style of how we would live, Lord. The way that we breathe and know that we need to sleep and, and eat, let it be so in such a way that prayer is so part of our lifestyles. Lord, that in our day, in our night time, you are the air that I breathe, and especially through prayer, and not just the concept of prayer, not just the gift of prayer, but prayer as being so valuable for me, precious to me. I honor you and I thank you for prayer as a gift from your heart, as an initiative, initiative from your heart. And so we declare, in whatever we will begin, it will begin as an initiative through prayer. And at the end of the day, it will end off with prayer as we will say, we give you all the glory for what happened. Or we ask you for forgiveness for what happened, Lord. And that through your blood, in your name, you will always have the glory. We choose that that will be the process, Holy Spirit. Come and help us in that and establish this lifestyle in our lives. Thank you, my God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. So we pray in your name. Amen.